cable is charged. Connect the transmitting clamp with the transmitter. Place the transmitting clamp 1 or 2 meters away from the cable head. And clamp it on the cable for test calibration. Note. The transmitting clamp is clamped on the cable to be identified, and the arrow must keep straight with the cable. After start up. Both sides of the cable are grounded in a simulated state, and there is no actual cable. When starting up, the default mode is coupling. With a frequency value of 10,000, the anti-interference is the strongest. But there is no directional at it, generally. The default value is 1,500 to 2,500, which can meet the on-site requirements, the lower the frequency. The farther the propagation, and the worse the anti-interference. With high frequency, good signal and strong anti-interference ability, the propagation distance should be shorter. Calibrate first. And clamp the receiving clamp on the cable with the direction pointing to the end. Turn on the receiver and select Kali per mode. Cancel the last calibration. Adjust to the maximum gear. Click the Enter button. And the calibration is successful when OK appears. Save the above calibration value and compare it with the real-time acquisition value in the future. To the actual site to identify cables. Make sure that the direction of the arrow of the receiving clamp is consistent with the direction of the cable. And there will be a check mark on the receiver. Check the real-time monitoring value on the receiver and compare it with the calibration value. The ratio between 80% 100% is normal. The current direction is consistent, and a check mark indicates that it is consistent with the cable you calibrated, indicates that it matches the cable you calibrated.